find the minimum variance term by as estimated for this distribution. It's looking like a normal distribution. So what we need to do? And we are going to use the gamma row inequality to look for it. Because the equation is using gamma row inequality. We recall that the gamma row inequality is one all over n expected value of the differential law of any distribution that is given to you. So since this is given, x y term, We take the law. If we take the law, that means this. We have the minus one over that two in two pi. We take the law of this, we have one over that two x minus theta squared. So the next thing to do is to take the differential. Take the differential. If we take the differential for this, we have something like this. And of x. All of that theta, which would be, if we differentiate this, we get zero. If we differentiate this, we we'll get negative one all over two times two x minus theta all squared minus one. Since we are differentiating with respect to theta, we have times minus one. So it gives one all over two multiplied by x minus theta. This is all we get. So this we cancel this to give us x all over theta. The next thing to do is to take our expectation and square. So it becomes the expected value that means from this. We are taking the square and also the expectation of this. So we have xi and of theta all squared. And we know that the role of this is variance of x. So if we compare it with the gamma row inequality, we have one, one all over, because we are done with the whole of this. The whole of this is this now. The whole of this is this. We're talking about our expected value, is remaining the end. So if we compare it with this, we have one all over. One all over and expected value of to be equal to variance of x all over n. 
because since we have one here, it also one all over variance. If we have this, we know that this is one over variance. So since we are putting our one here, I'm multiplying it with n. So we have sorry. We have this is one all over variance of x n, which is n all over variance of x. So this is our final answer when we compare it with the camera rule inequality.